so we have discussed about two variable sop k map so now we'll discuss about three variable sop k map so i've divided the whole discussion in terms of sop and pos because if i mix both of them it will be a little bit difficult so let us first discuss all things related to sop sum of products then we'll go to pos okay so three variable sop k map so it will involve a three variable boolean expression let's uh, take the three variables are as a b c so using three variables we can represent decimal values from 0 to 7 okay so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 0 that will stand for 0 0 0 so it will be a bar b bar c bar similarly 1 it will be 0 0 1 it will be a bar b bar c then 2 will be 0 1 0 so it will be a bar b c bar so as like this total up to 7 which is 1 1 1 okay so it will be a b c okay like this so here the three variable k map it will be consisting of 2 to the power 3 number of cells okay because there are three variables so it will accommodate 2 to the power 3 number of cells or 8 cells 8 number of cells because the total number of boolean terms which will which can be formed the maximum number of boolean terms that can be formed using these three variables they are also eight okay each representing a particular value from zero to seven okay so the three variable k map it will look something like this okay it will look something like this so here one side will contain a single variable and the other side will contain two variables okay again the horizontal component and the vertical components they will represent some binary values like it did in two variable k map the here the horizontal component consists of a single variable the vertical component consists of two variables so here it will be 0 1 here it will be 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so here there is a mistake normally people do something like this okay now the beginners when they are getting started with this k map they make this mistake here this will be one one and this will be one zero okay you must be thinking that it will go serially zero 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 one one zero one one but no it is not like that it will be zero 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 one 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 zero and each of these cells it represents a particular boolean term for example this first cell it is zero 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 
so it will be this is a bar this is a this is b bar c bar this is b bar c this is b c and this is b c bar so it stands for a bar b bar c bar let's say this cell it stands for 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 is the horizontal component 1 0 is the vertical component so it corresponds to a b c bar it is sop so each complemented variable it is 0 uncomplemented variable is 1 logic 0 logic 1 complemented variable 0 uncomplemented variable 1 so this is a b c bar similarly this cell it stands for 0 1 0 that is a bar b c bar this cell it stands for 1 1 1 1 1 1 it is a b c this cell okay this cell this cell, it stands for 0 0 1 that is a bar b bar c this cell it stands for 1 0 0 which is a b bar c bar so similarly each of these cells it stands for a particular boolean term which has a particular binary value and decimal value so this is the three variable key map now here you can also draw the k map like this okay let's say you decide that uh, okay. <clears throat> you decide that you want to draw the k map like this you can also draw it like this suppose you decided that in the horizontal component you will keep two variables and in the vertical section you will keep one variable you can also draw it like this okay so here it will be 0 0 0 1 again important thing 1 1 1 0 here it will be 0 and 1 okay so here it will be a bar b bar a bar b a b this is a b bar and it will be c bar and c always remember this point this 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 most of the time the beginners they make mistake here they keep it 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 serially they go serially but here there is a change 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 so always be careful about this part so here the horizontal component it consists of two variables the vertical element it consists of one variable the same thing both if you draw it this way also it will be the same you will get the same result but commonly this approach is more comfortable and it is normally used but if you choose to use this method also it is not wrong so this is the three variable k map so here it is 0 0 0 here it is 0 1 0 here it is 1 1 0 this is 1 0 0 this is 0 0 1 this is 0 1 1 this is 1 1 1 this is 1 0 1 each of these cells they represent these values okay corresponding to these boolean variables so this is the three variable k map which we have discussed so now we'll discuss about the four variable k map okay